Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a iPhone 10s or 10s Max and you want to know how to add multiple keyboard languages. I'm going to show you how to do that as well as how to use it as well. Now the thing is, once we add multiple keyboard languages, it's going to show up in every app. Your WhatsApp, your Line, your AOL Messenger, your Facebook Messenger, your regular text, text messaging app, all of it, okay? So as you can see here, I have three languages here. Uh, three keyboard languages here I have English, I have the emoji keyboard, and I have Chinese here as well. Now why don't we go ahead and add another language on here. I'll go ahead and add Korean on here. So we, first thing you want to do is go into your settings. So go into your settings here, and then you want to go to general. Then you want to go to keyboard, and then it says keyboards on the very top here, and you can see that I had number three there because I had three keyboard languages. Let me go ahead and tap on that. You can see I have uh, English from the US. Oops. English from the US, emoji, and I have Chinese. So if I want to add another keyboard language, I simply tap on add new keyboard, and you can see many other languages on here as well. And just for example purposes, let's go ahead and just choose Japanese. I'll tap on Japanese, and then I'll choose the uh, keyboard layout here. I'll just go with the first one. It's usually like the standard. Click on done, and now you can see Japanese down here. Now if I go into any messenger or text messaging app, I'll go here. Now what you have to do is you see the little globe in the left hand side down here, bottom left hand side. Press and hold this and you can see all the languages that you added, okay? English, emoji, I have Chinese, and now I have Japanese down here. If I wanted Japanese, simply just tap on that. Now it goes to Japanese. Let me press and hold. If I wanted to go back to English, I tap on English. And there you go. Now another way to do it too is you can simply just keep tapping, okay? So right now we're on English. If I tap the globe once, we go to emojis. If I tap down here again, now we're on Chinese. I tap it on again, now we're on Japanese. So pretty simple to do. Now if you want to go ahead and delete a language, what you have to do is just simply just go back into your keyboard settings here and then let's say for instance I want to go ahead and delete Japanese. So top right hand corner, click on edit and then Japanese, I'll go ahead and delete that, tap on that press on delete, then you gotta make sure that you click on done to confirm, and now Japanese is no longer in my keyboard. So pretty simple, I hope that helped you guys out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.